my name is Barbara Earl Thomas. I'm a painter, writer, and I also make sculpture. Part of the reason I get attracted to an image or an object is because of how it relates to like my life. It, it resonates with sort of my, my sense of the literary, my sense of how you read a thing. And I'm very interested in how things are read. And so when I walk upon a piece and I can read it in a way that's not literal, but it's literary, then I, it's exciting to me. There are these devices that allow you to think of space even though there's not linear, kind of linear perspective in it. You know, they, this one is, the fruit's bigger than the lady. So you know, this is closer to you and she's back into the room. So the space is alluded to, but it's not made in an illusionary way. It's about the color. I'm actually very attracted to the color. Um, I tend to use color very parsimoniously, so I might have a lot of grays and then, and then just one spot of color. My house looks like this. My living room looks like this. But when I paint, I don't paint like that. And I, what I love is when someone does something that it's not like me, but I love what it is and it's never like how I would do it. You get an indication of everything, but nothing in clear view. And I think that's why I'm attracted to this piece because every minute is like that for me. One minute I see it and then the next minute it's no longer in clear view. And that's what um, we art has done for us here. These little drops of light here, you know, where he goes through, he has done that, I think, purposefully because he knows how, you know, the eye works and he knows what an apple looks like. He didn't do it on, on the fruit, he did it on the glass pieces. So I find that really interesting. And so for me in my own work, I am interested in the impression that the work gives rather than the literal description the emotional response rather than um, the historical moment. So that is why I think this piece resonates with me.